Hi, I'm David Hardy, and in this video, I'm going to be testing a DIY electric condenser microphone with a Primo 172 capsule in it, which is this microphone with a GoPro Hero 6 Black. Okay, so the point of this video then is to test out this microphone and what it is, it's kind of like a, a DIY like bot job modified mic that I've kind of like, you know, put together. And what it is, it's a, it's, it's a bog standard, really cheap, nasty sound and, and a very cheap built uh, dynamic mic at that as well. But what I've done, I've replaced its capsule with a Primo 172 electric condenser capsule. And the Primo capsule is like a quite a very sensitive, and really good sound and electric condenser capsule so basically what I've done I've built a new microphone or modified a new microphone for about 20 pounds or just less than 20 pounds which sounds way better than what it did in the first place and also competes with microphones that cost a lot more money now what it is an electric condenser requires a little bit of power so most cameras including the GoPro as well can actually provide that power to power the capsule so basically this can be used with tons of different cameras and like recording devices and whatnot and for this particular video i'm using it obviously with the gopro 6 just to see and hear how we get away using this microphone in a few different scenarios you know it could be a vlogger mic it could be an interview mic it could be any kind of microphone you want now basically it's an omnidirectional mic which means it's going to pick up everything around you but you know for most uses this is probably what people would really want anyway Way, especially if they're going to be talking to people and doing various things like that so it's probably really well suited to be used with a GoPro like quite well may, maybe more in particularly with a GoPro because you know the, the way most people would use a GoPro they would expect its sound to be coming from everywhere anyway so this will probably do a really good job at that okay so right now this first scenario that I've done is basically me hand holding the mic in front of the camera so you know this could be kind of like reporting or I don't know what Whatever, vlog and anything so what I'll do now I'll switch to a different configuration as well all right so what I've done now I've mounted the microphone directly to the top of the camera let me just give it a little bit of a scratch make sure it is actually on and uh, basically what it is I have a metal skeletal case that my GoPro goes into and then that in turn has got a shoe mount on the top so I can put a mic clip on which is what I attach the microphone to the side of the case has also got a hole where I can screw in various adapters and whatnot and various extensions to which I've actually got this nice little clip put on which holds my external microphone phone adapter in place as well so the whole thing is kind of like really quite neat and tidy but allows me to get great audio and hopefully a great picture as well the other thing is I'm shooting with another camera to the side and unfortunately because I can't control the other camera or, or basically I can't control this one either because I'm not behind it so both of them are you know pretty much in automatic modes and the, the sun's kind of going a bit in and out of the clouds here at the moment so hopefully I'm actually getting a decent picture along with this but nonetheless it's the audio that we're uh, concerned about here anyway so all right so this is just another configuration that we can put this microphone in as in on top of the camera and you could use this for any number of scenarios that you know you see fit to use it for right now I'm kind of just using it you know as a vloggy type thing to be honest just hands-free vlogging and whatnot okay so I'll try another scenario now as well with the uh, the GoPro and the microphone Okay, so now what I've done, I've got the microphone and the camera and everything all on a pistol grip. So basically, this is going to be like pure kind of like proper like mobile vlogging or whatever you want it to be so what I'll do I'll just move around a little bit with it I don't want to go too far in case I start falling into the river and stuff because I really am not keeping attention on what I'm walking into around there yeah so basically this is just going to give us another idea as to the configurations that we can put the camera in with this particular microphone and like I say this handheld variant here this is something that a lot of people like to do as well so again this is just another third scenario that we could use the camera in I mean, hopefully between this and the other camera that's filming me and it's all automatic, hopefully I'm getting a decent picture as well. But like I said before, the most important thing here is the actual sound quality. Okay, so I'll just move on to another scenario. 
okay so the configuration that i've got now is just the microphone again in me and but this time i've got a friend to talk to as well so we're gonna not just simulate but actually do an interview anyway this no, is I'm my not, i'm not harmonizing are we <laughs> I'm not very good at harmonising. <laughs> Mate, I'm tone deaf. There's no way I'm doing that. Go on then. Yeah. <laughs> Although I can do, I can do it. Say I haven't found what I'm looking for. That's about it. Try that together. And I still... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It'll go wrong, go wrong, go wrong. No, no. No, so no. anyway, this is my good friend Grant Walker. He's an amazing artist and drummer and all kinds of things. Anyway, Grant, and what it is, me and Grant do a little vlog elsewhere, so this is going to be practice for what we're going to do practice. later. Yeah. Because <laughs> all you know what practice makes, don't you? Perfect. That's the one. Right, Grant. Uh, what is your favourite middle eight out of any song you care to choose? You could have given us a bit of a warning on this, by the way. <laughs> uh, fair, but this is bracky for later. Favourite middle eight, favourite middle eight of all time. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'll tell you what it is, boss. Uh, across the Universe, uh, the Beatles tune. Oh, okay. Ah, I thought you said, said I couldn't harmonise, you can't say neither. <laughs> And also, you can drum dead well. Yeah, I'll tell you another good one as well. Uh, uh, a song called Target by Embrace, the mid and that's fantastic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Dave, what's yours? <laughs> I'll just keep you chill the top of my head. Not the air, nothing. Okay, I, can't, I, I don't know if I can go for me ultra, ultra favour, but right off the top. I'm not Devo again. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the problem. It is going to be a Devo track, but outside of Devo. That's, that's just... No, well, I know it's a bit sad. I'm a, I'm a one-trick pony. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Now, what it is, I reckon, right now off the top of me, the thing that sprung to mind was the mid eight in Killer Moon by the Bunnyman. Ah, uh, can't argue with that. No, 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 no. There's another one I thought as well. I might get slagged down for this, but I'm, not, I'm not even bothered. Do it. <clears throat> song called Hazard by Richard Marx, and however cheesy the song is and a bit dated now, the mid late in it, where he where he goes up about five keys, is amazing. Okay, so there you go. I've said it. Brilliant. Yeah, you know. Don't feel ashamed of it, mate. It's music. No. It, whatever it means to you is all that yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's probably probably loads of others. If you yeah. ask me again in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna, now I know now I'm going to be thinking. Now you're going. Yeah, yeah. I'll, now you'll be I'll prepared. Be bang on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is just <clears throat> another setup for this microphone, and I'll do another quick one with it with good old Grant here as well. So just give us a moment. And just for another setup, what I've done now, as we can see hopefully from the other camera, is I've top mounted the microphone again. And we are like some distances, you know, away from this mic. So this is going to be another really good test. Anyway, Grant, what do you prefer most, drumming or painting? Oh, uh, oh, oh, so, oh, see. Ah, uh, got you there, son. Uh, well, fucking drumming all day, all day. I mean, they, they are, I'm doing the artwork, but I get paid for that. Yeah. Don't very, well, don't very often get paid for doing the drumming, you know what I mean? Even yeah. you should do, you know. One's what you love and one's, you know, what you get no, paid for. No, 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 that's not that at all. No, I, no. Love, I love both. You know? Yeah. I love, love, love artwork, love drawing. Um, but not as, you don't love them as, as equally? Not not the same passion. Drumming's like your first girlfriend. Do, do I haven't said that? You know, if you, if you got that, if I got that, if I got that really that successful, which I very much doubt it's going to ever happen, but if it does, it does. I reckon I'd miss doing the artwork, because I do love it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, for instance, today I've been getting paid for drawing Halloween pictures on, on the windows of the pub. I mean, I do it for nothing. Don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> but I've only, I've Don't only. do that, otherwise you'll have no form so of basically, basically, I basically I'll, I'll go out and scribble with my felt tips, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> kids do that for nothing over the weekend and spray paint trains, which I'm not advocating. I'm not, well, you know, Banksy's done that right, haven't they? He has done, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, this should give us an, another idea of how we can actually configure this setup and where to put the microphone. And hopefully, you know, this this all sounded good as well. Dave, oh, Dave, 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 do you like do you like filming uh, or, or, or playing Casio? <laughs> playing synthesizers yeah, with yeah, one yeah, finger. Yeah. Uh, well, a bit like you, really. Uh, music's me like me me first love. Do you know what I mean? You like one band. <laughs> he likes one band. What's that about? <laughs> Me actually attempting to do music is no reflection on the one band that I re I'm really into. Okay. By the way, Grant's referring to a group called Devo, oh, and yes, I am a one-trick yeah. pony. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But I, as 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 for the, they were like filming and editing more, you know, more than their music, you know, or, or at least attempting with one finger. I had to go on to doing two fingers as well recently. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still only one note at a time. <laughs> Open your heart by Human League, which is one of the best Human League songs going. Not at the time. Okay, so I think this about sums it up for this bit. Uh, I Did might you used to work as a waiter in, 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 in a, a cocktail, cocktail. <laughs> oh, Sorry, 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 sorry. Go ahead. 
<laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm just indoors now anyway, just to kind of round up this video and also maybe it gives us a little idea of how the microphone sounds typically, you know, indoors. Uh, and just a couple of things. Yes, I'm fully aware of like some of the colour stuff going on with the GoPro. It's way beyond my control. Um, I set it in automatic mode for a number of videos. I know all about it and I'm not, I'm not too happy about it. Um, and also as well on the last clip outside I'd forgotten to hit record on the other camera so we, we only had the GoPro angle on that anyways um, yeah picture quality aside or any picture issues this whole video has been all about uh, you know the audio qualities of this microphone so just to remind ourselves this microphone cost less than 20 pound it was originally a dynamic microphone very nasty sound and one that cost two pound um, I put a Primo 172 capsule in it, which is probably the best uh, like omnidirectional electric condenser capsule you can get for anywhere near its price. And then I just modified the end of the cable as well. Now what it is, there'll be a pop-up at the end of this and there'll be a link in the description as to uh, the video where you can go and see the build of this particular microphone or the modification of it and all the parts list and all that stuff. Um, there'll also be other videos that I'm gonna do with this microphone. Obviously this one's on a GoPro Hero 6. Uh, but I'm going to do another video where it's just on a standard camcorder as well. Maybe I'll try a couple of others. Uh, yeah, that's probably about all I can say because I think this video uh, show, has shown us all the configurations of this microphone. Oh, the other thing that's probably worth noting as well. Throughout all the different sections, I have not altered the volume that you know when I've got back into the edit or anything like that. So what that's going to do, it's going to give you an, an exact idea of how this microphone was responding in each of them different setups or configurations. Yeah, you know, some of them could have been lifted a bit louder in the edit, but I just wanted to do something that was like true to, you know, exactly how the microphone sounded in, in its particular configurations. And indoors as well, I'm not going to top mount it or do any handheld stuff because we've already seen how that happens outside. And to be honest with the GoPro as well, you're probably more likely to want to use it outside. So hopefully, this video has give you a really good idea of how this microphone sounds with the GoPro Hero 6. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Maybe you found it entertaining. Maybe it was informative. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Also, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell for notifications as well. And what that'll allow you to do is to keep up with all the videos that I do. I do a lot of stuff to do with hardware, software, cameras, microphones, basically go right across the board with tech stuff. But if the only thing that you're interested in that I've been doing is the GoPro stuff, then you may want to consider just checking out my GoPro playlist. And then on top of that, you can actually go directly to all my GoPro videos at www.goprohero6.co.uk. Okay, so the only thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.